Hey, Moki girl. Welcome back. Today is February 17th. The last time we spoke was September 10th. And uh, at that time, I talked about redesigning my indoor hydroponic unit. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated. I guess by the end of October, I had it up and running, and there were some tweaks that had to be made on it, some adjustments. The other problem that I ran into is a lot of my seed packets were old, so I wasn't getting the seeds to germinate, so that got delayed. So here we are, February 17th, and uh, I got new seed packets. The system is working great, and uh, why don't we take a look at it? What do you think, monks? Go take a look at it? Yeah. Come on, let's go. All right, so here we are with my newly designed hydroponic system. Part of the main reason why I recreated this system was the original one that I was using was taking up way too much room. So I'm using the same amount of tubing that I used before. I just cut it in half and put an elbow in there. And um, I'm using grid beam, that's the wooden posts, to hold up the lights and the uh, uh, PVC tubes. So let's take a look at what I got here. Uh, this holds 22 plants, so it is one short because I have my water line over here. I do have a mint plant that I'm starting back here just from cuttings and you can see that the roots are already starting to take. There we go. So that will be an outdoor plant in a small container because they have a tendency to grow really wild like weeds. So um, I got some bok choy growing here and uh, this is the inlet line. Let me go back to the inlet line and you can see water pouring in and uh, we'll take a look at the system first so it runs down here it's on a slight angle goes around the bend here goes down this tube here and right out these lines down to the return bucket over here and my inlet line is right back here and that just goes right on back over to where the uh, water comes in over to here. This one I have a control valve on because it's a little bit lower so uh, gravity allows that one to have more water. Being that that tube on the lower level has more water I take my starters that don't have much in the way of roots and the water level is a little higher and I have them starting off and you can see here how they're doing it's got a little bit of roots growing on there and uh, this here this is an experiment that I was trying I wanted to try uh, hops to see how hops would be uh, growing in hydroponics it does extremely well the next experiment that I tried was propagating a cutting off one of the hops plants. This is the propagation. As you can see, it's done really well. Uh, amazing white roots. And what I've also done with this system, I had a problem with the old system where algae would grow where there were openings in the tubes. So if there was no plant here, I would have algae growing in. So what I do now, is I take one of the net pots and I fill it with hydrotone, the clay balls, and uh, just fill it up so that it blocks the sunlight. And uh, right now I, oh I, no, I actually don't have any that I can show you right now because the entire system is filled with plants. Uh, so you can see, this is really an amazing system. I have strawberry plants in here these are ever blooming and if I use a uh, brush, I use a Sonicare toothbrush, an old one, and if I rub this I will get strawberries. I've already had several of them through uh, the holidays and uh, the idea was to try to get a few of these growing so that come this spring at least I would have one or two of them that I could plant back outside in a container and uh, I think I've got three or four of them that are growing right now 
And uh, here's my lettuce plants. These are about a month old. You can see how well the roots are growing on there. They're nice and white, healthy. The system uh, runs all day and then at night it shuts down, shuts down the lights and everything. This again is another uh, hops plant that was grown from seed. Another strawberry over here. This is the other hops plant that was uh, propagated. And uh, the problem with the hops that I realized afterwards, I didn't know because I didn't have enough experience with them, is that when I got the seeds, I have no idea whether it's a male or a female plant. The majority of the seeds are male. So what I wanted to try was propagating. So this way, if I did wind up getting a female plant, I could propagate it and get all female plants. This is another hops plant that was grown from seed and uh, they can go into a hydroponic system right outside. I have some bok choy growing over here. This is my bok choy. It needs a little more light but that's all right. This is my kale plant. Big beautiful kale plant and uh, I do de dehydrate some of the leaves. It makes really cool uh, uh, garnishing on food and uh, you can add it to spaghetti, you can put it in soups, and you can also, uh, the other thing that I've done with kale is you can chop it up and saute it with bacon and some almonds, and it really makes a good vegetable dish. Uh, the other thing that I did is, as I mentioned earlier, I was having problems getting my seeds to germinate. So what I started doing is, rather than wasting my neti pots, I would use this method, which really seems to be working very nicely. And uh, with one hand, let me see how I can do it here. What I do is I take a uh, plastic container cover. Let's see if I can do this. Bear with me a second here. There we go. So I take a plastic food container cover and I wet a paper towel and I lay my seeds on here and there's one or two that are just starting to germinate. Let's see if I can zoom in. This one right here is beginning to germinate and uh, you can kind of see a little bit of white right around there. So this method works out nice. You just have to very very carefully lift the uh, uh, seedlings off the paper towel and uh, put it into a neti pot which then I move down here and you can see I have under this light I have several lettuce plants growing and I have an entire tray of lettuce plants growing over here. They all started off the same way uh, that I showed you with the paper towel which works out really nice. And then over here this is the computer program that I use Actually, a friend of mine created it, and I use this to keep track of all of my plants, trays, and everything. And uh, the one tray that we looked at that I was just talking about, that one is Big Boston Lettuce. And you can see it says right there, Big Boston Lettuce. And uh, works really well. It really helps me out as far as knowing where the plants are, what they are, and uh, moving them through the system, harvesting them. Uh, so the whole setup is working. Hey Mokes, say hello. Say hello. There you go. Good girl. So this whole system seems to be working out really nice. It is February. It is time to be uh, looking to grow your vegetable seeds, start germinating them, getting them ready. Which reminds me, I do have a canning tomato seed pack that I put together. They are all heirloom seeds, or heirloom, I should say, uh, tomatoes. And it's four different varieties that I put together that are superb for um, canning. If you're doing any type of canning or dehydrating or anything like that. So listen, if you guys have any questions, uh, you want to contact me reach me at hydrofarming at sedonacreations.com and if you're interested in finding out more about the 
uh, tomato seed pack that I have, email me, let me know. All right, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take it easy now.